Did you sleep okay? Hey, good morning. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the DJI Spark. So I figured I'd go about my day and uh, kind of talk to you guys about it because it is a day-to-day -day drone. So, the first thing I want to say is, uh, you know, yesterday I decided to go for a bike ride, um, kind of a candid one, and I decided to take the drone with me and it was super easy to take because it's so tiny. Uh, I really enjoy flying it because all you really need is your cell phone. What's up YouTube, it's Danny McHale here with another video. I just wanted to discuss the DJI Spark with you a little bit more in depth. I wanted to really discuss the portability of the Spark and the practicality of it. It's tiny, it doesn't look scary, and when people see it up close, I mean, it's the size of my smartphone. So earlier, you saw everything on the stool is essentially everything you need to fly the Spark. Well, minus the box. So obviously, this is the box that it came in. It's a tiny box. I did not get the Fly More combo. I actually got the base. And I think it's easy to fly with your phone. Now, this is the little carrying case that the drone comes in. iPhone 7 Plus carrying case. Now, if the case is tiny, the drone's tiny. So we're gonna go ahead. There's a little bit of a lip here. You just go ahead and pull it open, and bam, there's the drone. So obviously, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but there are two slots here. Battery compartment, battery compartment. So you can put two extra batteries in here and then a third one in the drone. So this is the drone. Now, what's cool to note about this drone, I've been doing a lot of research. So this drone has the same sensor that the Mavic has on paper. This drone takes excellent pictures. This drone, in my opinion, takes excellent video footage. This drone is all you need. If you're not a professional, you don't really need anything more than this. And, and really, I got the Mavic Pro because I'm not a professional, obviously, but it was so tiny and that's what attracted me to it. But this attracts me more. I mean, this compared to my iPhone 7 Plus is crazy. It's so tiny. Obviously, there's only a two axis gimbal. So the third stabilization axis, which goes like this. With this, it uses uh, optical image stabilization or software stabilization to go ahead and stabilize the left to right because this doesn't really shift left and right. It has a little bit of a give, but it's more for this, right? So you can kind of see that I'm shifting the camera no problem like this, but I cannot shift it. I cannot push it left and right. So a lot of people think, oh my gosh, maybe this footage won't look as stable. Well, you guys tell me and let me know what you think. a little bit watered down the settings are you are locked down to 1080p at 30 frames per second the fact that I cannot change what this drone does if it loses signal with my phone it's kind of annoying now I don't know if that'll change with the actual remote controller I've learned that the settings are not nearly as robust with this drone as they are with the Mavic or the Phantom series I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview about this drone so right here so you got your SD card slot right there and you got your micro USB right there. So you're probably thinking where's the charging brick? Really any smartphone, any tablet, the brick kind of looks like this. All you got to do is plug this in via USB. I can actually charge this on the go with this battery pack. That's 
really the whole point of this video. So this drone is very practical, very practical. For someone who isn't a professional, but wants to be able to take cool footage, wants to be able to fly something fun, and wants to be able to have something that doesn't look menacing. You got something like this, I mean, people look at it and they're like, oh my gosh, it's like a baby drone, it's a toy drone. The biggest selling point that this thing has to me is it doesn't attract unwanted attention. So if you're not a professional, you don't care about 4K, it's not quite as stable in the wind as the Mavic or the Phantom 4. Even though it is tiny, it's kind of substantial. And even my, my fiance, she said that she was surprised at how substantial this was. Now, I'm sure you viewers out there are thinking, okay, if I were to get this drone, is it really going to replace the Mavic? Is it really going to replace my Phantom 4? Now, that's only a question that you can answer. If you are a professional photographer, videographer, this is not for you. The 1080p on here looks fantastic. People have done you know, several different comparison reviews comparing this one to the Mavic Pro in, in 1080p, right? We got to compare apples to apples. And they're saying that the 1080p footage on here is, is great. I really think you'd be very happy with this drone. So in conclusion, this drone has replaced every drone I currently own. Um, I actually returned the Mavic. I am definitely going to stick with this as my only drone. I don't need anything more than this. If I had the option of carrying a slightly bigger drone that shot 4K or carrying this that's small, that's practical, that's less menacing, it's not as loud, it's fun because you can fly it into tighter spaces, right? There's trees all around me. I'm not worried about this. When I had my Mavic, I was a little bit worried. If you take all that stuff into account, you realize this is the drone for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, or subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.